Thanks for tuning in. Please like and subscribe so that you can become a part of the winning family. Hey y'all, happy Wednesday. So yeah, I know it's been a couple of days since I've been on here. If you've been keeping up, you may not have even noticed. I just like to think that you kind of miss me a little bit. Um, I think the last time I recorded a video was on Saturday, which was right before Mother's Day. But not much has been going on, guys. I mean, um, it's another week. Um, it's just my days for work have been filled with Zoom meetings, team meetings, because I'm working from home. Of course, still due to, you know, the COVID-19 and all that stuff. Um, and so it is currently 5.27 p.m. I had to work last night because I had a, a webinar to do online. And I was pretty much tied up all day yesterday. With that and meetings today, I had three meetings. And so, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm bending over because I'm putting up these dishes out of the dishwasher. But anyway, I just want to check in really quick, with, really quickly with you all and to see how you were doing. Let y'all know I'm still here and I don't have my calendar with me. I can't remember what day, but I'm still, you know, on the 100 day challenge. I still been getting my activity in every day. Um, I still been doing one meal a day. However, let's see, one day I should have seen. Sunday, I was pretty much free day for me, so I ate how I wanted to on Sunday. It showed up on the scale on Monday. This one I got on the scale, I was back down to where I was. And so, I'm just trying to decide, trying to figure out some things for myself about the one meal a day because I don't feel like I'm eating enough to lose to speed up the losing weight part. I'm not getting in enough protein. I'm not getting all my calories in because when I eat at one time, I'm so full. I don't finish my food. And so I don't know if I should just go back to intermittent fasting from 12 to eight. Um, like I was trying to do one time before, but today I did have coffee at noon. I had coffee yesterday at noon, but it wasn't like just black coffee. I don't do black coffee. I can't drink black coffee with nothing in it. I can't do that. So I had to put something in my coffee. But it does help kind of, you know, fill up your tummy. Excuse me. Fill up your tummy with something warm. And I don't know. I'm going to do a little bit more research. Because you all know I jump right in to the one meal a day. But I think I may just try, um, maybe switch it up or try to figure out because I know I'm supposed to have a certain amount of protein and I think if I eat more protein that'll probably be better um I just don't want to you know hurt myself instead of helping because I feel like when I don't eat enough my body is holding on you know just holding on to the fat and holding on to you know because I'm just not eating enough but um I don't know and I know I shouldn't be um, judging this by the scale, but I do. Because <laughs> I want the scale to go down. I mean, I do. I mean, that's just all, all this true. I mean, I don't want to do all this hard work and, and um, you know, ain't nothing happening. Um, you know, I'm still, you know, I don't know, guys. Like I said, I'm just going to just watch more videos. And and I know I have to do what what's best for my body. I know years ago when I started the weight loss journey and I had a like a fitness she was like a fitness consultant or coach i ate i ate three meals a day and two snacks in between and i lost weight the first weight that the first week that i was on her pro program i lost 13 pounds i know it probably was mostly water and stuff but i lost 13 pounds the first week and i lost consistently because i was eating i was eating three meals a day plus my snacks in between and I had to eat to lose the weight. So that may just be, my body may do better that way. I'm just trying to figure it all out. Um, I've been on this journey for a while, but I still haven't figured it out yet. You know, I I, I want to be happy. I, I like the one meal a day because I feel like it helps 
keep me a little bit more disciplined. Um, and I know I can do it, you know, because I, I, I've been doing it. So, yeah, I have baked some wings yesterday, but I didn't eat them. Not wings, but like drumettes. So I put them back in, I put them in the air fryer to kind of um, cook them a little bit more and try to crisp them up some. Because I like my, my chicken kind of crunchy. So that's all I'm doing now, guys. I hope y'all, I hope y'all doing good. I hope everything is going good for y'all. I really do. And um, yeah, so um this is like a five minute video i don't know if put up today or what but i want to let you know i'm still here still in it haven't faltered off don't plan to so we'll see i'll be back later on with some more talks um as i think about i did have i always have i need to start right now on these topics i have good topics that i want to talk to you guys about <sighs> i'll see y'all later <laughs> June 22nd, between June 22nd and July 14th, that's when I'm supposed to get my jump rope, y'all. I got to wait all that time on a little old jump rope. I'm like, are you serious? Yeah, so it's, today is, it's Thursday today. I'm in my office. I'm here just for a little bit. I have to, I had to come in to try to do some work and I, I got nothing done. I had three meetings and I really, I mean, I got one thing done, and that was about it, guys. So, um, today is day number 34 on the hashtag losing to win weight loss 100 day challenge is day 34. Woo, 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 um, to catch you up with as far as, like, um, the OMAD for me, I got off on Sunday. I didn't do OMAD a Sunday. I ate a Sunday. It was Mother's Day, so I didn't follow one meal. I ate more than one meal that day. And then on yesterday, I didn't do just one meal. Yesterday, I got off track. and um, But I did have indigestion so bad on Sunday night because I think the last time I ate was like probably like 7 or 8 o'clock. I had bad indigestion, and I paid for it. And so, um, I definitely did just do one meal on Monday. Uh, but yesterday, I didn't do one meal a day because I was hungry. And so, I had some coffee with cream and with some stevia in it. And that was like around 12 o'clock. And plus, I, you know, I just ventured off the one meal a day yesterday. But this is a great part about our journeys, guys. We can switch it up. And if you want to do one meal a day, you do one meal a day for one day. Next day, if you want to do keto, you do that. Next day, you want to do vegan, you do that. Next day, you want to do vegetarian. That's what you do. It's whatever. It's because it's your journey. So it's whatever, you know, you choose to do. Today, I'm definitely doing one meal a day. I think for dinner, I may try to do some shrimp and grits. I've never ate it. I've never had it. I've seen videos about it. And I really, really, really want to try it. And I'm kind of like in the mood for something like that today so i'm gonna go out of the store and get some shrimp and get some cheese and get uh green onions and um yeah i think it was something else i need to get but anyway i just pretty much want to come in to say hello because i have not uploaded anything all week and i want to get something out there to you guys uh to let you know that i'm still here i'm still on 100 day challenge i have been doing my 25 minutes because that's what we're on 25 minutes right now then on saturday it's gonna move up to 30 minutes also um let me see there's another weight loss well, not weight loss challenge but there's another challenge um, by Sheena on Instagram. She also has a YouTube channel. And I'm going to have to find the link because she did put up a video talking about the challenge. And hers is a D2S100 challenge. So it's um, it's 25 minutes a day for 100 days if you want to get in on that challenge. Um, I'm going to put the link to that video that she put up this week in the description box below. You can click on that. And I think it's like probably one or two minute videos a very short video she and she's also on instagram where she posts a whole lot on stories and she does you know post um about what she's doing 
uh, very inspiring, very motivating. So I would suggest to go check out her and her challenge if you want to get in on something more like that and you don't want to go up, you know, increasing minutes like my challenge is increasing in minutes. Like I said, honey, it's whatever. If you decide to go on a five-day challenge where you do 100 minutes a day or you decide to go on a 100-day challenge where you do five minutes a day, it's, as long as it's doing something, if you're getting up, you're moving your body, you're making a change, because if nothing changes, then nothing will change. But if you're trying, you're putting forth an effort, um, it's going to be easier and sometimes it's going to be hard. Because I don't know, the last two days, it's been hard for me to get my 25 minutes in. Last night at 11 o'clock, I was getting mine in. Because all day, I felt like not even doing it at all. But anyway... Yeah, so such is life. So I may take a picture of my shrimp and grits so y'all can see it. I don't know. I may just try to get this video up uh, out to you guys so y'all can, you know, see my fancy face. It don't seem like Thursday today. Today seems more like a Wednesday. I don't know. But I think it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be like 77 degrees here in South Carolina today. So, because it's been cool. So I'm looking forward to it being a little bit warmer. But anyway, I hope that you are doing well, that life is treating you kind, that you're treating yourself kind and good and fair, and um, and that you're being easy on yourself, yourself and you're staying safe, you and your family. So I pray all God's blessings on you, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, y'all. Okay, guys, so that was a picture of my shrimp and grits that I had. And it is now about 3.45, and I started eating at 3 o'clock. And I'm going to have this for dessert. It's um, just a 80-calorie uh, strawberry Greek yogurt, and I put some um, granola in there. So that's going to be my dessert, and that's going to be the last thing that I eat for today. So I should be finished eating. Eating done with eating at four o'clock. So I just want to show you guys that I'm back at home right now. Um, my work day ends at 4 30, but I took me a you know like a little break and I'm gonna go back in and check my emails and see if there's anything that I need to do. I have a meeting tomorrow at 12. And then yeah, so our summer hours start next week. And that means I'll be working from nine to four, Monday through Thursday, and be off on Fridays. So that's usually how my summers are off on Fridays. So I'm looking forward to that. I may look back into um going back to school, maybe taking like one or two classes during the summer, maybe doing like a online online classes, maybe try to get at least six credit hours or something. Sometimes they have like those mini semesters, and maybe I can get like four classes in the summer. Um so we'll see but i hope that y'all doing well and so i will see you guys in the next video keep going stay strong remember we win and we in it to win it see you guys later bye